Good morning. No one was injured here. The office, which is now boarded up, has actually been closed for months because of the coronavirus pandemic. Alderman Lopez says what happened here and at his home more than a week ago were meant to scare him. Alderman Raymond Lopez says nothing appears to be missing. He believes the goal was to intimidate him. If we allow this to continue, if we allow gangs to drive this message that they can do whatever they want to do without repercussion, this isn't just about me. My residents will never stand up. Police say two people were seen just before midnight throwing bricks through the windows of Lopez's office at 47th and Fairfield, then running off. July 9th, someone hurled bricks into the 15th Ward Alderman's Brighton Park home and set his neighbor's garage on fire near 43rd and Artesian. The case remains unsolved. Lopez believes the same people were behind both incidents. This morning, he called out Mayor Lori Lightfoot, suggesting she is not doing enough to protect communities. When you, Mayor, refuse to call out terror attacks on our communities, especially on their electeds, criminals only feel more emboldened to continue their reign. Glass can be replaced, peace of mind and security cannot. Your silence is destroying this city. I've never heard her call out the gangs that are driving the violence in our neighborhoods. You know, we talk about this in very lofty terms, but this is real in our neighborhoods. We have individuals who are the magnets for violence in our communities who we need to call them out. We need to call out their enablers, the ones that allow them to exist. We need to call out their landlords who have no problem with gang activity on their properties. And we'll make sure that they've got the resources they need to be secure. We're not going to tolerate anyone attacking elected officials and, and engaging in criminal conduct against them, period. The mayor did not directly address Lopez's accusations on violent crime. Police are seeking video that may help them in this case. In Brighton Park, Judy Wang, WGN News.